here to show you the Mackey Axis Digital Mixing System. Uh, it's a modular di digital mixing system made up of our DC-16 control surface and the DL-32R rack mount digital mixer. Uh, the mixer uh, and mix engine is all happening here in the 3U rack space with 32 of our Onyx Plus digital outputs and 18 uh, hardware outputs available as well. But all the cool, fun stuff happens up here on the control surface where you can control that digital mixer. Uh, with the DC-16 system, we were focusing on making as fast as possible workflow when we focused in on a couple areas that's improved visibility better than anyone else and incredible level of customization so you can customize it to work the way you need so you'll see what that meant was we put screens everywhere on the control surface and we made this smart bridge that allows you to have up to three iPads showing you even more information Looking at the channel screens, you have this huge amount of information giving uh, uh, about the channels you're looking at, your channel name, channel icon, a color, all of that can be customized exactly as you need. You can even have a channel photo loaded in on a channel, just like you can see here on 15 and 16. So, there's no preset banks on the DC-16. Again, we want you to be able to customize that. So everything's uh, uh, user customizable, and you can assign a name to each one of your banks, or as we call them, view groups. So if I press the drum view group button, now the faders will show me all the channels related to my drums. If I press strings, now I see all my stringed instruments, including inputs, returns, subgroups, and VCAs. Vox, I see all the Vox and back to looking at everything. We have a mix selector on the right side, which works very similarly, allowing you to choose what mix is on your faders. Main left, right, switching to aux one, so I can mix uh, my first aux mix, aux five, and again, I can label them with names and customizable colors. I can edit my channels using the fat channel at the top, giving me my most important controls, gain, high pass filter, EQ, gate threshold, comp threshold, and pan, and can, I can dive in deep to any channel by selecting it and pressing the dynamics to get to its dynamics, EQ, effects, and so on. Now let's talk about these iPads because they give you a ton of information. That center iPad follows along showing me the selected channel. So if I select a new channel, you'll see it change. If I grab an EQ, I see that. If I grab a compressor or gate, I see it change to that. So it's always showing me exactly what I'm working on. The second iPad is showing me a history. So this is the last channel I was working on. So if I select one channel, the previous one's available here so I can always reach up and still work on it while I'm also working on another channel simultaneously. Third one could be another level of history or you could put it on your most important channel, your most, uh, uh, the mix of the lead singer. Any view at all could be up there. Final cool thing to show you is we call this the smart bridge because it senses whether or not an iPad is present and changes the iPad operation, whether or not there's an iPad in the slot. So if I pull this iPad off and I go, let's say, to mix uh, graphic EQ, which I can do with ease on stage, I've now tuned my monitors, everything's sounding great. As soon as I put that iPad back, it automatically switches right back to the view it was at before giving me this great customized workflow and seamless surface to wireless mixing. So that's a quick overview of the Mackie Axis system. It's uh, shipping very soon, so if you want more information, please visit Mackie.com to learn more.